Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw. Welcome back to Lit Gaming Republic. Another week, another dollar, another day. We are ready to go here on Monday Night Raw. We are in Rockford, Illinois, or wherever. Let's get started. We are set here for our first bit of action. EC3 is here. And this is yet again another EC3 open challenge to declare the next number one contender. EC3 says whoever can defeat him here tonight will get a championship opportunity at the next upcoming pay-per-view. The question is, who is going to answer EC3's challenge? And who... Wait a minute. Is that... Is No Way Jose. No Way Jose. Oh, and he is attacking the United States champion, EC3. I think... I think No Way Jose has just made it... Oh, my God. What a face buster. I think No Way Jose has just made it clear that he is next in line for a championship opportunity. No conga line here tonight. No conga line at all tonight. This match, they're both in the ring. This match, this match is official. If, if no way Jose is able to get this victory here, then he will be declared the next tap challenger for EC3's United States Championship. And we saw something. We saw a change in No Way Jose last week in that tag team match with him and Sami Zayn. We saw something. We saw a light flicker. And I believe this is this is a different side of No Way Jose that no one was able to see. Close lot to the back of the neck. There, this is definitely a new No Way Jose. Oh, what a shot right to the back. And another one right to the back. EC3 has not been able to get an upper hand in this match since the bell rung. It has been all no way, Jose. What a spinning back fist right to the chest of the United States champion. The number one percent. And what is this? Oh, my God. It's been quite some time since we have seen EC3 in this amount of trouble this is all no way Jose and no way Jose with a side headlock oh EC3 able to get a headlock of his own and he releases EC3 is trying to get back into this match trying to get in control And what is this from EC3? Oh my God, T-Bone Suplex right into the corner. The lower back of No Way Jose. I don't know how it's not snapped yet. Oh, and No Way Jose once again fighting off the champion. Oh, what is this? A big elbow. Knee right to the midsection. And No Way Jose, we usually don't see him go up top. We usually don't see this from No Way Jose with for a leg drop. EC3 able to get out of the way. Oh, what a drop kick. And going for the pin. Could this be it for No Way? And no, he kicks out. Oh, and look at this. Spinning them around. What is this? Oh. Got caught with a clothesline. Oh, and look at these repeated chops right to the chest. EC3 building some momentum back into this matchup. Oh, what is this? Reversal neck breaker. 
EC3 is trying his absolute best. And what is this from No Way Jose? Oh my God! What a slam! And that is not enough to put away the U.S. champion. No Way Jose. So, so close to becoming number one contender for his first championship in WWE and what a big right hand punch pop-up knockout punch one two and no the champion the resilience of EC3 no way Jose does not know what is to do he hit two of his most biggest moves he did not connect all the way with that leg drop, but could it be enough? No, a kick out from the champ. And now is no way Jose putting himself in disbelief. He doesn't know what to do, but he is still fighting. Look at these punches, these right hand punches. Oh, running STO. And EC3 is starting to get fired up yet again. What is this? Another T-bone suplex into the corner. My goodness, what is it? Oh! This crowd is on their feet for No Way Jose. And No Way Jose looking once again for that humongous slam oh and he got it for a second time it's over it gotta be over one two and three no way jose is your number one contender for the united states championship no way jose showing the wwe universe a side of him that no one has ever seen before could we be looking at the next united states champion could we be looking into the future is the end near for ec3's championship reign And no way, Jose bringing out the conga line. If I could, I would be in the conga line too. What a big, humongous championship opportunity this is for Mr. Jose. Congratulations. We have women's action, ladies and gentlemen. This fatal four-way match is to declare the number one contender for Ronda Rousey's Raw Women's Championship at the upcoming pay-per-view. The former champ, Becky Lynch, making her way to the ring with a all too serious look she wants her baby back she wants back the raw women's championship but to be able to do that she has to survive three other women and boy are these women very very talented it's the legit boss the blueprint It's boss time. Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks. A four-time Raw Women's Champion in her own right. She is looking to once again become champion, but she has to get past this match to do so. And it is Natalia. Natalia is back in the WWE after suffering a torn pectoral muscle.
Do they even? I, anyway, Natalia is in this match. Now it's time for the last competitor in this fatal four way number one contenders match for the Raw Women's Championship. And oh, what a time it is! It's time to feel the glow. And from Orlando, Florida. Time to feel the glow. Naomi is here and is looking to become champion. Becky Lynch is ready. Sasha Banks is ready. Natalia is ready. Naomi is ready. Referee, get the bell rung because the fans are ready. And what a drop kick from Sasha to Naomi straight out the bat. These two used to be part of a of a tag of a of a trio. These two used to be part of a trio called Team Bad. They have a whole lot of history. Step up in Seguri from Naomi. This is going to be some high pace action here. Oh my God. Sasha Banks just dumped over the top rope, landed hard on the hardest part of the ring. And look at this. Oh, what a big boo right to the face of Becky Lynch from Na Na Natalia. Whoever is able to get the pinfall or submission will go on to the next pay-per-view to face Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. And you got to think, you got to think the champion is looking very, very closely at this matchup. Sasha Banks and Naomi are back inside the ring. You have three. And yes, yes, you have three submission specialists in this match. And they are ready to make anyone tap within seconds. You got... Sasha Banks with the bank statement submission. Becky Lynch with the disarmor. And of course, Natalia with the infamous sharpshooter. Three submission specialists. Oh, what a time it's gonna be. Oh, suplex from Sasha. Sasha going in for the pin, but Naomi gets out of that. Oh, and Sasha unintentionally takes out the referee. Uh-oh. And she turns her attention to Becky Lynch. And now the boss is the only one standing. Or may I, I may have spoken too soon, Dragon Screw. And look at this, Becky Lynch going for a pin. No, a kick out from Na Natalia. Oh, and a right hand takes out the boss, the blueprint. Oh, and what is that from, from Becky Lynch? Becky Lynch could win it here. One, two, three. No. Naomi and Sasha was too busy outside the ring. They didn't even know that there was a pinfall being made. Becky Lynch somehow, some way. Becky Lynch will get her championship rematch at the upcoming pay-per-view against the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. With that corkscrew rock bottom combination, she was able to get the one, two, and three. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Looking to get her retribution against Ronda Rousey. 
I know Ronda Rousey had to be looking at this matchup very, very closely. She knows what her future is. And best believe she is prepared. We have a beast in the building. The beast is in the building. The beast is back. We have not seen Brock Lesnar. We have not seen Brock Lesnar here since he lost to Bobby Lashley at Extreme Rules. But anyway, Brock Lesnar is back and he is setting a open challenge to anybody in the back. He says he doesn't care if it's past, present, or future. He says he will destroy whoever comes out. And he vows to do so. But the question is, who, who in their right mind is going to answer to the challenge of Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate, the king of Suplex City? Who? What? The world's strongest man. Mark Henry answers the challenge. Mark Henry is over 300, probably over 400 pounds. The world's strongest man. He is in the Guinness Book of World Records and more world records and everything. A future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. He answers the challenge of Brock Lesnar. And look at this. He is beckoning Lesnar to get in the ring. And he does so with a headlock, a knee right to the face of Henry. This match has... This match has started and you gotta think, you gotta know this is gonna be a hard hit and battle. Look at the strength of the world's strongest man. The world's strongest man got a hold of Brock Lesnar. What is he thinking here? Snake eyes, oh my goodness. Taking out the beast and the beast with a big scoop slam. The beast is down, the beast is down. And, Bro and Mark Henry is feeling it. Oh my God, with the shoulder tackle. From the 300 plus pounder and another suplex to Brock Lesnar. And he is feeling it. It has been quite some time since we've seen the beast destruct it like this. Oh my goodness. I don't think Brock Lesnar even had a punch in so far in this matchup. Oh, the strength of Lesnar. He's showing off his strength. And oh my God, no, no, not from the outside. What a suplex. And now Brock Lesnar, out of nowhere, he is back in control. Elbows right to the top of the head. Oh, my goodness. Look like Lesnar is trying to bust open the world's strongest man. Oh, and trying to pick him up, but the world's strongest man is not having that. Henry with a big right hand and another scoop slam to the beast. And you can see the, you can see the concern on the look of Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman does not like what he is seeing. My question is, is Brock Lesnar going to be the, the next inductee into the Hall of Pain, courtesy of the world's strongest man? But Mark Henry is down right now. The Beast is trying to get back into the, into the flow. Oh, knee right to the midsection. My goodness. You knew this. I, I, I knew this was going to be a hard-hitting battle. Oh, and a big clothesline takes down the world's strongest man. Oh, and look at this. Henry just throwing Brock Lesnar like a little kid across the ring. And what is this? Suplex of his own. 
This crowd is electric for what we are seeing here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Oh, and the trapeze is locked right there. I don't wait. Is that the trapeze? Yeah, trapeze. The traps. Yeah. Oh, and Lesnar looked like he was down and out right there for a minute. Fisherman carry. Oh, and a big hammer fist takes down Henry. Brock Lesnar is trying his best to get into this match, but Henry is not letting up. What a huge Samoan drop. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by, by management backstage that there was a back, that there was a brawl backstage between Mr. Money in the Bank, Finn Balor, and the Universal Champion, Bobby Lashley. And if I, if I'm hearing correctly, Finn Balor said that he is cashing in his Money in the Bank contract in tonight's main event. Tonight's main event has just become a Universal Championship match. Finn Balor putting his Universal, uh, Finn Balor putting his Raw Money in the Bank contract cashing it in tonight Bobby Lashley I hope he brung his gear I hope he brung his big guns oh what a clothesline from Lesnar though clothesline from Lesnar can it be it for Henry no Henry was so close to losing right there oh my goodness but I still can't believe it main event which is in a few moments, I believe. Oh, and look at this. Henry, Henry, world strongest slam. One, two. Mark Henry has just defeated the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar has just been stopped in his tracks of destruction by the world's strongest man. Here is your winner, the world's strongest man. My goodness, you do not want to get in his wet. In a, oh no. Oh no. I can smell destruction. I can smell destruction. Mark Henry is not done with Brock Lesnar. He is not done with Lesnar. He is not done with Lesnar worth of nothing. And Les Lesnar just getting beaten down with that steel chair. Getting beat down with that steel chair. Is Lesnar the next inductee into the Hall of Pain? World's strongest slam on the outside to Lesnar. Oh my God. Well, you heard it. It's main event time, ladies and gentlemen. Raw's Mr. Money in the bank right there. Finn Balor cashing in here tonight. Is this a smart move for Balor? We heard that after the brawl and after the announcement from Finn Balor himself 
we heard that Bobby Lashley was highly, highly upset and he completely destroyed his own personal locker room. So is this the right move for, is this the right move for Balor? Because I would not want to mess with a angry, I would not want to mess with an angry Bobby Lashley. And look at that, the referee holding up the briefcase. The briefcase is going, is officially cast in. We are waiting for the champion right now. Where is Lashley? Ah, uh, here comes the roar. Here comes the Universal Champion, Bobby Lashley. We did hear that Bobby Lashley had a couple of um, injuries, a little bit of an injury. So, is that going to come into play in this matchup? You can see the focused look on his face. Bobby Lashley always said that he is ready to defend against whoever, wherever, whenever. But I see a little bit of concern on his face here tonight. Who? Who is walking out? Universal Champion, put it down in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, because this is, this is going to be good. Main event, this is what it is for here tonight, the Universal Championship. Introducing the challenger from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! And introducing the champion from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Man, oh man. Is this the last time we will see those side plates on the Universal Championship? Universal Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley holding it up proud, holding up the gold proud. Bobby Lashley, he knows he could possibly be looking at his championship for the last time ever. Universal Championship. Is on the line. Let's get this cash in official. And the match is started. And look at Balor. Balor showing off a little bit of frustration, but it's not really bothering the almighty Lashley. Oh, and look at this chop right to the corner. Look at this. Oh, drop kick right to the side of the head. My good. Oh. What quickness from these two. Bobby Lashley was not prepared. He was not prepared to the. Bobby Lashley was not prepared for competition here tonight. What a backstabber. Nor was he expecting to defend his championship here tonight on Monday Night Raw. So could this. Could this. Oh my God, the viciousness from Lashley. Lashley showing off a vicious side and a kick out from Balor. Oh, and look at this, Balor, look at this. Balor with a roll up, rolling up the Universal Champion and no. Balor trying to end this as fast as he can. He knows exactly how Bobby is. These two had a rivalry about a couple years, about a year ago, but it was over the Intercontinental Championship where Finn Balor eventually won back his championship at WrestleMania by defeating Bobby Lashley. 
And here they are again, this time fighting over the richest prize in Monday Night Raw. And once again, a huge power bomb. Maybe Balor should stop going up top. Oh, what is this? Oh, a flatliner. And maybe, maybe Balor is questioning whether he should have did this or not. Oh, and look at this, rolling them up, rolling them up. One, two, no. My goodness, who is going to walk out as champion? And uh oh, Balor setting them up, setting up Lashley, setting up Lashley. Basement drop kick, basement drop kick in the corner, going up top. We all know what he's looking for. Can he hit it? Coup de gras. The coup de gras. It's over. One, two, and no, my God. Basement drop kick immediately into the coup de gras. And the Universal Champion was still able to kick out. And. Oh, and look at this. A flatliner of his own. The Universal Champion is not letting go of his championship without a fight. Oh, and over the top goes Lashley. Oh, and look at this. Balor, he looks to be calling to his inner demon. Over the top, my goodness. Over the top, and Balor is filling it. This is once again your main event. This episode possibly a little bit shorter than normal, but so what? Oh, and look at this the big right hands from Lashley. Referee is out of count of five. They need to get back into the ring, and that's exactly what he does. And oh my God, a roll up, a roll up, and no, too close to the ropes. Finn Balor is trying to get rid of this as soon as possible. He knows how vicious Balor, he knows how vicious this man can be. And what is this? What is this? Oh my God, that was vicious. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. What is Balor thinking here? What is Balor thinking here? Whatever it was, Lashley able to counter. What a super kick right to the midsection, the gut. Oh, it's so close, so close. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over for Balor. Balor kicks up, though. He kicked back up. Oh, and look at this. What is Balor thinking here? Oh, brung him in the hard way. Going to the top. Could this count? Oh. Oh, and look at this. Oh, close line right to the corner. Oh, and look at this Balor. Oh, my goodness. It is not looking good for Finn right now. Oh, and Balor blocks. He blocks. Suplex of his own. Balor, he's looking into his inner demon. Oh, and what is this? Oh! And he's going for the pin after that. One. Two and so close, so close. Almost got the victory right there. Finn Balor, he's trying to channel into his inner demon. Can he do it? And Balor trying his best. Setting him up in the corner. He could be looking for another basement drop kick, and he connects. Oh, but this time he's not going for the coup de gras. He's not going for the coup de gras. What is this? 
No, no, the three, 16, 19. The 16, 19. Could this be it? Could there be a new universal champion? And yes, it is. Finn Balor, after years and years and years and years, Finn Balor has finally won back the championship that he never lost. If you are not familiar, Finn Balor was the first ever, the inaugural universal champion. But 24 hours later, he was forced to vacate it due to an injury. Nev and he never got a chance ever again. But he finally, he finally got his chance. Finn, Finn Balor has finally gotten his chance. Finn Balor is Universal Champion for the second time in his career. And wait a minute, wait a minute. The Universal Champion does not seem pleased what is this oh no Finn what are you about to do Finn what are you about to do oh my goodness throwing the former universal champion back into the ring and Bobby Lashley is not looking good what is this throwing him out what is this Finn Balor, he's going up high. Oh my God. A tope out the ring. And the crowd, the crowd seems to not have liked what Finn Balor just did. Finn Balor is now getting a sea of boos from Balor, from from the Balor Club of the WWE Universe. I don't know what this is all about, but that's the end of the episode. Please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe, please do all of that good stuff. And until next time, deuces.